Okay, I should preface this video by saying the defense Garagolum form isn't exactly the best Garagolum form, it's actually kind of one of the worst ones, but it's really good at being annoying. Okay then, hopping into the first battle, I like this because there's a couple of things here that we can tank pretty well. Nevermare is going to be a problem for my Garagolum, but we have got the Imperi to like take it out as far as, also a Zulong. Could have Chili Chomp, but Ancient Raw, okay, got him. We don't really care about our attacks being lowered because we're not trying to do damage with our attacks unless we can actually hit them like super effective, I guess. We're just trying to driving false melt, be as annoying as possible, and get that chip damage. And then once everything's weak, can just go into something that's really fast and outspeeds all of them and just easily beat them. Okay, Mutagun could also have Frost Punch. And it's a tank Mutagon, so let's be honest. There's a good chance it has Frost Punch because that's a level up move. And Quick Punch is a rally move, so oh no. Okay, I'm actually going to go into Fishgana just to scout out the move options. Because if they're going to go into Mutagon, I would assume it's because they have something that can hit me super effective. Brawn Boost, however, is also pretty darn annoying. Kinda wish I driving fast them out, but oh well, it's a little bit too late. Mega Punch, okay. That doesn't give me any info because I still have no idea if they actually are running Frost Punch, but because it's not secret ability, it doesn't one shot me. And also, I'll speed it as well. I'll use an alone of lows. So I will say, for my false slot, I'm running also Barb's Driving Force for the little like gimmick that it has right now, just like the annoyance. Then I have Mudslide to get entry hazards off of my side of the field. But then also on top of that, I have slapped down as my last move to remove items. Although you could actually replace it with Ice Gold Traps to be even a little bit more annoying and get even a little bit more chip damage. And also, if you don't want to run Ice Gold Traps, because let's be honest, Ice Gold Traps aren't that super amazing. Although, with Gargolum being in the game now, they can hit it for like half of its health instantly, which is kind of nice, I guess. But I guess we could also try scapegoat with the health emulate item, and that could be pretty good in some situations. But I thought I'd try slap down, and in the battles over this video, I might swap it up. I guess we'll see. Anyway, here I'm actually gonna go for barbs. I decided to bring Gobademic, even though Gargolem has barbs, so Gobademic can try and settle them up if Gargolem does have a great matchup to try and get them up, because no healing move on Gargolem, and also I run Gobademic with health gift. So. It gives me the option to health gift into it if I need to. Also, really, you didn't even take me down to my... I was going to call it a sash. It's not a sash. It's a clutch plushy. Literally one health off. How are you going to do this to me, man? I'll go for another layer of Bob's low. And I guess we can just go back into my Garagolum and start clicking Driving Force. Although, Metronet actually kind of counters this because if Metronet swaps to the field with its ability... It ain't gonna take any extra damage, so... Yeah, I gotta get rid of this first, don't I? Yeah, I guess I'll go into Helvantic and just try and get rid of the Metronet. Although, Helvantic for Boots is the Lumion that I'm kinda trying to use to, like, sweep up late game. I guess Baneful Bash is my strongest move, and it's enough to two-shot it. Flabber, I guess, will do a lot of damage, but we have some a lot of natural bulk. Way more than Gobidemic, and we knew Gobidemic loved to hit, so I mean, there's no shots. Helvantic doesn't. So, I'm taking it, man. Although, we gotta be very careful because I'm, like, pretty much down to Garagolum and Imperia that I'm mostly saving in case they brought Nevermare. And that's really all I want to really use it against. But, this is fine. See you later, Metronet. Actually, now that I have an aggressive boost, I probably don't even need to use Garagolum to use Driving Force. I could probably just sweep with Alvantic. But that is a Zulong, so, uh... I could outspeed it, but do I really want to risk it? I don't know. I'll go Gargolem because we can probably tank Elemental Burst fairly well. Even though we're primarily melee tank, we can still tank a few of those as long as it doesn't potentially burn me, but we're immune ice, so we can't. So yeah, that's a good part about, I guess, defense Gargolem is you don't have to run the secret ability. Ancient Roll, I mean, hey, th th this is actually great for us, right? Because don't you switch... And then I get to attack and driving force you back out. Thank you, man. Hopefully it's Zulong that comes back in. Please. Z okay, Helvantic. No, 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 no. We don't want to see you. Also, why Helvantic? What is this going to do to me? But anyway, see you later. <laughs> so yeah, this is what makes the defense form pretty good. But at the same time, 
it's still pretty gimmicky, it isn't like amazing, and because it's like a tank with no like rejuvenate, it is like very limiting, although this I like it. I like I like the gimmick that it has, okay? Just being as annoying as possible. I love it. Oh, what's up, Zulong? How's it going? It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Oh, looks like your health is actually odd, because if it's even, it'll be down in orange now, because that's exactly the halfway mark. So, if we're, like, about half and it's green, that means they have an odd number amount of health, which is what you usually do for, like, stuff like Garagolum. Things that are weak to Ice Cold Traps. Elemental Burst, he just knows that they can't get rid of my Garagolum, but uh, this is actually fine. I believe Zulong is out of energy now, and it's basically a one-shot whenever it comes back in, so Halvantic is looking pretty good here to sweep. And I think we want to probably click Primal Slash to hit the Joltooth, because I think that's like the only other thing on their team that they have that is bulky, and I don't think they've never met. We don't need to Driving Force it, but at the same time I kind of want to, but we'll just click Mudslide, and I probably should have done it the first time Halvantic came onto the field. Oh wait, actually no, we couldn't have, because uh, that doesn't even KO. Okay, that's why you don't really want to use any of your attacks on Garagolum because of that. It doesn't really do a lot of damage, even though it was quad effective, like, dang. So, yeah, but I actually couldn't have done that early because it came in on while we were driving forcing. So, yeah. I guess we could just go into Helvantic now and just win. We just click Primal Slash, we get an aggressive boost right here, and we call it a day. Yep, there we are. Okay, then. See you later, Helvantic. That is my first aggressive boost. Love to see it. If your Azuling has dodge, I will hate you, but understandable. But get Zip Zap now, okay? It has it. Okay, they're bringing out the Joltooth. So I'm assuming that their um, Zulong has no energy, but that's fine. I'm clicking Primal Slash still. Okay, then. And see you later, Joltooth. Love to see it. Yeah, maybe it Boot Salvantic isn't the best thing to, like, bring along to try and sweep late game. Like, something like a Zulong or, I guess, a more offensive Gobademic. Or even a different Garagolum form. But I'm playing competitive. I don't think you can bring two different Garagolum forms. Because they're still technically the same Lumion. So, yeah. I decided to bring Halvantic because it's one of the new Lumions. I might as well bring it right. But that should be the game. And I am glad they've taken it. I'm actually not sure what they really clicked there. I'm assuming it was a flail. Oh no. Oh, wait, actually, aggressive activates even when the game ends? Didn't know that. Okay, then. Hopping into the next battle, I see Crackler, which means potential burn up so they can get rid of entry hazards. But if I deal with you, we're looking pretty good. Also, actually, I can't driving force have. I kind of forgot about spirit types. Actually, they have Dorigo, which is probably their. Entry has a set up because it has got barbs and toxic barbs as well. But also it's like slower and it's like its ability isn't like that amazing. Half is also fairly annoying. We could go into Garagolum, I guess. I mean, do something. Can't really driving force it out, so I'm not really sure what I meant to do against it. But we can try it, I guess. Although it has got bulk up, so this could just give it free bulk ups, which is not good at all. Earthquake Claw, we are immune because we have still air type, so love to see it. But yeah, we've also swapped out Slapdown for Scapegoat now for this battle, and I'll probably use Scapegoat now for the rest of the video. I'm never really going to click Slapdown on the defense form. Like, yeah, you can get rid of some items, but in most cases, is it really going to be worth it to remove an item? Like, it's going to be like very, very niche for you to like, want to remove an item from something, using like the defense gar golem so i think skip will be a little bit more important because instead of like zulong potentially free hit coming me if i have a skip go up it's going to take that one extra turn so i mean i think it's worth it in the long run not really sure what cosmere is going to do low peace of mind oh it's a uh secret ability one idiosyncratic this is actually good i got skip go up i'm going to get a layer of barbs down i could go for a second one but cosmere is pretty scary so i could just actually driving false it out here and I will. Only one layer of barbs, which isn't amazing, but I mean, we're back at basically full health, so I mean, I'm taking it as a win still. We get rid of Cosmo that's setting up, and whatever's going to come out it takes a little bit of chip damage. Okay, and it's also Halvantic, which does not want to be on the field. This thing can't really hit Garagolum. Defense especially can't. Although, actually, Gnarly Gash could do some mega damage if it's the Pitch Black ability, because... That 50% increase is a pretty big increase. But they go for the withdrawal. Is it Krakaloa? It's Dorigo. Well, that's fine because I'm getting 
a little layer of Babs up at the very least. Also, I don't want to get hit by Slap Down by Dorago. I want to keep my health, I'm okay. Like, it is my literally only method of healing, so yeah. Baffle, that's completely fine. Oh, witty, I actually can't baffle against Scapegoat. I completely forgot about that because who uses Scapegoats? Like, the one Banfino user that spams Sap Plant Scapegoat. That is literally it. But yep. Another layer of barbs, man. Don't mind if I do. Hopefully this did not crack low, because I will... Okay, it's actually have. Okay. Well, they definitely know what my strategy is now. Just basically a spam driving force over and over again. But now they've got three layer of barbs up, and it looks like they haven't got crack low, potentially. I just got to get rid of this thing, and then we're good. I still have a scapegoat up, so I guess I could try and hit it. That doesn't really sound worth it, though, to be honest. I'll go for a rest, because I mean have isn't really going to do anything to Garagol. I'm defensive and I don't really want to waste my scapegoat by swapping out immediately. Like, yes, we took some damage, okay? I could say it again and let it break my scapegoat and then swap out. But I'm going to go Imperia. Imperia can uh, threaten this thing pretty good. Come on. Oh, they went for the withdrawal. That kind of sucks. Dang it, man. Into what? Cosmere? Uh, it's not the end of the world. I could actually stay in here and hit them. Not really worth me battering them because they are range tanky or range attacker, but also range tanky. So, do I really want to stay in or do I want to swap back into? I don't think it's really worth swapping out. I'll just go for Dark Surge. I'll do some damage to the Cosmere. If they attack me and take me out, they also go down with me. But they don't. They go into Dorago, which is fine. I kind of wish I clicked True Blast to be honest. That would have been really, really good. At the same time, low. I don't think Dorogo KOs me. Yeah, slap down, okay? You're my volcanic ashes. I mean, that's fine. I'm not really sure where you're going with that. Maybe they predicted me to go into Garagolum, but I'd rather just remove the Dorogo because it's just fast and annoying. And also, a potential entry hazards, etc. For Okay, Halvantic. Okay, this actually is a very scary Lumion, so we could actually just stay in that my ability to take it out, but I'd rather save Imperia specifically for Hav because... It's just really annoying. But we can just go back into Garagolum here, I guess. We could also just go into Fishgana, but that is my only Lumine with a move to actually hit the Harv for super effective damage. So I might as well save it specifically for Harv if I need him pray for something else. But Baneful Bash, that's fine. We don't really care about that. And I guess I just want a Driving Force, but is that predictable? Definitely, definitely, definitely predictable. I think we actually just go into Fishgana here, predicting it. Okay, they're waiting for the withdrawal. Is it into Hav? It's actually into Iliguana. Did they predict me to go into Fishgana? Nah, because they didn't even know I had it. I never revealed it. What? I'm actually a little bit confused. What are they planning here? Like, what is Iliguana going to do to Gargolem? I'm going to go back into Gargolem because I can Driving Force it out and... Electric moves aren't gonna hurt me. Taze, immunized, and I'm a Murph type, so don't really care about that. I mean, yeah, for off a driving force, I mean, flash and flee, that's fine. Now I'm going to assume they're gonna go into have, but I mean, it's gonna still take some damage by swapping in, so I mean, it's still a win for me, I guess. Also, I'm, 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 I am assuming it is gonna be have now. It's actually caused me, I'm not really sure why. I mean, you probably should know I'm just gonna spam driving force now, but I'll take it. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure have isn't going to be a problem much longer because it can't heal. So, I mean, once it swaps in a couple more times, it's basically dead now. So, I'm liking this a lot. A lot, a lot. Okay, rejuvenate. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I'm going to just waste your energy and get rid of you again. So, now you have to swap back in to get a way to rest off. You can't rejuvenate again, I don't think. But there's the have. It comes back on and it takes 25% of its health. So, we love to see it. And I guess he would just go into Imperia. Also, I actually just realized, they have a lot of Lumias that can't really hit Garagolum defense form. Okay, what's up, Hav? I mean, you knew that I could get a free bulk up off, but I'm going to click you, or hit you with True Blast even. I'm just going to click True Blast. Not going to think about it, because it can actually hit quite a few of our Lumians. Eliguana doesn't really want to swap in, because Dark Surge and Provoke, so we're looking pretty good here. So yeah, I mean, like, Hav can't really touch defense form, although I can't really touch it back. Eliguana can't really hit me, Dorigo couldn't really hit me, Halvante can't really hit me. Like, this is, like, a really good team to use it against, although the, the unfortunate part is have. Although, it is now one shot, as you can see. And the best part is, 
I'm going to go into my Fishgana now, which definitely outspeeds it. Actually, this is a defensive form. Either way, I don't think I can heal up enough. If it swaps out, when it comes back in, it just dies. So this is half just done now. So I'm taking it. Oh, well, I actually outspeed it, even though I think I'm running a mostly defensive set. I actually don't know much, how much speed I'm running on this, but half is down. Now I'm just free to click Driving Force, and I might not even need Halvantic to sweep the late game. I think I just win with Defense Form clicking Driving Force. And because Mirror's already, like, two-shot, basically, so unless it can get its uh, Milkshake back, it's just gonna die. I guess I could actually just stay in and attack it, although I don't know if that's really worth it. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I'm not really losing anything. Oh, Slumber, okay. Well, now I'm definitely gonna go into my... Um... Garab uh, not Garabantis. I keep wanting to say Garabantis because I want to use Garabantis because I gave it body crash. But yeah, I mean, the Garagolem is just going to swap in. I mean, yeah, you're asleep, but I mean, it doesn't really bother me. It's actually just a free swap in for me. I, I, I like this. Okay, Len, defense forms on the field. We just start clicking Driving Force. I kind of want to clip Scapegoat, but I'd rather click Scapegoat on Eliguana. And also, I don't really want to set it up for it to just break it immediately because it is a range one. Yeah, we have some range defense, but we're primarily running a melee tank version. But yeah, Havantic can't really hit me that hard, so I could actually just set up Scapegoat against this. They actually go for the withdraw, so I mean, either way, free Scapegoat, man. I ain't gonna complain about that. I know Cosmo isn't really gonna do anything to me because the Scapegoat's gonna tank it for me. Yeah, this is by far the most annoying Garagolum. Like, yeah, the attack form could potentially sweep you, but I mean, it's so frail if you can just hit it once. It practically dies. Defense form isn't really going to die to like one move. It can't heal, but it can definitely make it annoying for you to try and take it out. <laughs> Unless you have like at least an ice move. An ice move could potentially one shot Garagolem. At least make it weak enough where like it can't really tank a hit from anything else. But yeah, so far, man, I am loving this. I'm actually going to click rest on the Iliguana because I need a lot of energy. And I am. They need to wait as well. I'm fine with it. Oh yeah, also, I need another free scapegoat. Eliguana, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Rejuvenate? I mean, you're just helping me out at this point, man. I do not mind this. Like, yeah, Eliguana can heal, but, uh, your Helvantic counts. Once the Helvantic goes down, you're just left with, like, two fairly fat Lumians, and that's basically it. Let your guy down trust corner. Give me a critical hit just so I can get a bit more damage. That literally does nothing. <laughs> What's up, Cosmior? How's it going, man? You're also getting pretty darn weak now. So, yeah, I'm not really sure how I'm going to be able to beat these because they both can spam Slumber and Rejuvenate. And because I'm slower and also Dragon Force is just going to, is naturally minus six priority, so you're always going to go last. They can always get like weights, rest, or their heal move off. So, not really sure how I'm going to do this. I guess my best plan would be to go into my Halvantic now, to click narrowly gash twice, I guess actually once Halvantic's gone down, then I just win, I guess. I guess that's my plan right now. Actually, we can do it right now. I can actually take out the Halvantic here, because it should be weak enough where this should KO it. Okay, it's quite effective, there's no way it doesn't. Like, yeah, only 60 attacking stats, but come on, Garagol, you had to take that out. But now that that's done, I'm assuming they, they should actually go back into Cosmia to waste slumber turns. They do, but yeah, just Dragon Force into uh, Eliguana, I go Halvantic, and that is practically game then. Oh, I forgot about that specific slumber part, and I think actually it's the same for Beast Slumber. You only get heals if you weren't forced and you weren't swapped out. So, I mean, yeah, Cosmere can only like swap in like a couple more times now, and it just dies, and if it doesn't wake up, it can't slumber again. I honestly completely forgot about that. I might not even need Halvantic for this battle. I mean, I'm probably... I'm gonna risk, I'm gonna just drive and force two more times, this, this time, and one more time, otherwise it's gonna be a pretty long, unnecessary battle, which, th there's just no reason for it. Although, Cosmio didn't actually wake up this turn, and it shouldn't, because I'm pretty sure Slumber should always last three turns, so yeah. I actually took it out with Gargolem, dang, well now it's just, uh, Eliguana, and this thing isn't really gonna hit my Halvantic at all, like, Good natural bulk, although we're actually, yeah, we actually didn't take any damage, so we're looking really good here. I'm actually just going to swap into it and just click narrowly gash, and we're, we're good. 
Gargolem put in a lot of work. Like, the gimmicky, like, annoying set doesn't seem that bad, but you have to have a lot of things to go right for it to work. And in my case, for this specific battle, like, what, four of the Illumians couldn't really hit the defense form, so we got really, really lucky. Either way, though, I am taking it. So, Gillen, getting into the set, we're running 192 health TPs and 200 melee defense TPs with a robust personality on top of that to make us as melee bulky as possible, while also keeping our health odd because we're quad weak to icicle traps. We don't really need any more energy because our naturally high energy stat gives us way more than enough, so 4 TPs will do since we can't really use it anywhere else at level 50s. And the last 104 TPs are put into range defense to make us able to take range hits better, but also, we don't really need to put them anywhere else. The item I'm running is a health amulet, so I can get some health back at the end of each turn, since Garagolem doesn't have any healing moves whatsoever, although any other defensive item like heavy armor or shield, or even a milkshake would be fine, but I think the best option is just the health amulet. And then for the ability, we're running the normal ability immunize, because we're a tank with no healing moves, we don't want to be done in by any toxic stallers, and we aren't really going to be claiming any KOs with the defensive form to really utilize the secret ability master, to its full potential. And then finally for all the moves then, we're running Babs and Driving Force as the two main moves we're going to be using to be as annoying as possible by constantly chipping away at the opponent's health by Driving Force them into more Babs. And then we have Mudslide to clear our side of the field of entry hazards. And the last move, I think Scapegoat seems to fit the best, although you could try Slapdown for item removal or even Icicle Traps or even a little bit more chip damage. Also, I will note on the end of this, if you want to run a range tanky version instead, just switch Robust to Clever, and then switch the melee defense and range defense TPs, and that should do it. 